Hey guys, today we are out in Waimanalo, Hawaii, visiting Hawaii's very own Sea Life Park. After reading a lot of mixed reviews online, I wanted to check it out for myself. Since I'm from Hawaii, I've been here before, but honestly, I haven't been here in probably about 15 years now. So I wanted to see if things have changed and if things have gotten a lot more exciting. So watch till the end to see if I would recommend this place to all of you. If you're new to my channel, I'm Carrie, and this channel is all about Hawaii food and family. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this in the future. All right, let's go. But first, let's get some breakfast. So before we arrived at Sea Life Park, we stopped at Coco Marina Center located in Hawaii Kai. We wanted to try a new breakfast place that we've never been to before called Moena Cafe. There was a lot of people waiting outside and the cafe was full, so I'm glad that we called in a phone order ahead of time to pick up our food. We didn't have to wait long and after we picked up our food, we drove to Sandy Beach to eat our breakfast. The views driving on the east side are always so beautiful and breathtaking that I couldn't help but share it with all of you. It was pretty windy when we got to the beach so we were unable to talk to the camera but Reed got an acai bowl which he thought was very delicious and I got the classic Portuguese sausage, eggs and rice. Overall we felt that the quality of the food was great and we would definitely go back again when we are on that side in Hawaii Kai. After we finished breakfast, we drove another 5 minutes or so to Sea Life Park. Sea Life Park is located on the east side of Oahu in Waimanalo along the coastline. Remember that if you are driving there, parking is $5 and they do accept both cash and credit card. Currently, when filming this video, Sea Life Park is open from Friday through Tuesday and the general pass day ticket prices range from $25 to $40 but if you buy them online, they are 10% off. If you're military or kama'aina, they offer a 40% discount. They also offer annual passes and tickets to their dinner and luau show experience. So today, there are all different activities that you can do. There's the Honu Turtle Feeding and Talk Story, there's Slashing with Sea Lions, Animal Trek, Hawaii Seaweed Tour, Feathered Friends Pig with Seabird, there's like a dolphin show that I'm sure we'll probably go to and a sea lion show that I remember um, is iconic to Sea Life Park so I'm sure we'll do that. Hi! Hi. Good morning! Once the rest of the family arrived, we were ready to enter. The Sea Life Park experience starts when you enter the Shark's Cave. The Shark's Cave begins above water and as you keep walking and walking, you go deeper and deeper into the ocean. I learned that the shark's cave is a 300,000 gallon aquarium and it's home to the sandbar sharks, the black tip, and the white tip reef sharks. So, a lot of different types of sharks in here. Uh, Sea Life Park is an uh, active breeding ground for Hawaiian green sea turtles. In fact, they've bred almost 16,000 uh, different baby sea turtles that get released back into the wild. So it's helping with the conservation efforts all around the world to repopulate the Hawaiian green sea, green sea turtle population. Check them out. seeing the sharks and the sea turtles, we went to the penguin house. Um, we're gonna watch the penguin show now. It's called 
feathered friends, penguins, and seabirds. Oh, it doesn't really relate to sea animals. They're gonna dance. Actually, I think penguins have a very low IQ. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. Maybe, maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they're really smart. Like, what are we gonna see? Wow. Penguins. Penguins. So the most common question that we get here is, how do we have penguins here in Hawaii? Don't they need ice and snow? Well, it's actually a really big misconception. <laughs> in about three months. It was a little disappointing, but it's okay. We we saw a penguin. He went ha. Ah. Since it was a hot day, these water spray tents were a welcome refreshment. And after a quick cool down, we headed to the tide pools where kids can touch the smaller sea animals, even the honus. All right, so this is number 14 of 20. Um, this guy is only a year old, so he's still a baby. So uh, when we touch him, we're gonna do two fingers up, up and down on the shell and on the fin. We're not gonna touch the neck and we're not gonna touch the head just because they're not used to it and it makes them uncomfortable, yeah? We're gonna touch we're gonna the turtle. Touch the turtle. Mm -hmm. What are you gonna touch? Okay. What's that? What's that? Baby, baby, baby. Yeah, baby, she was a baby. and her family decided to stop in Halemanu, which is the bird aviary, to feed the birds. And I believe they give you the bird food for free. Full transparency, I'm a little afraid of birds, which is why I decided not to participate in this experience. But I'm glad that my niece and my nephew, as well as Kathy and Kyle, had a great time feeding the birds. I'm getting mixed messages from this trash can here. <laughs> Are we supposed to put yeah. trash into dolphins' mouths? Is that the reinforcement that's happening here? I'm pretty sure it's not supposed to or not intended, but um, that's the message I'm getting. Next up on the schedule was a Dolphin Lagoon show. We're waiting for the dolphin show, which happens twice a day at 12.15 and 3.30. So we came here early because of social distancing. There's not enough room for everybody to sit next to each other, so we wanted to reserve some seats. And um, the dolphins are going to perform. Um, this is probably a show that we've seen, I don't know, maybe when we're in elementary school. And uh, it's probably been a while, so hopefully it's different dolphins, but uh, this will be fun. What do you think of the park so far? What's your, what's your overall um, Well. Now that it's still in COVID, but kind of coming out of it, you know, I think they've let everybody back in and it's very crowded. Um, it's a zero, zero mask requirement for when you're outside, but when you're indoors, you have to wear one, which is confusing because some of the exhibits go indoors and outdoors. Um, it's kind of hard to uh, view some of the attractions and the shows with the animals because of social distancing. but. Overall, it's a good experience so far for what it is. I think um, it sounds to me like the parks made some improvements since maybe the last time we were here 20 years ago. But um, yeah, it's been good so far. It's just really hot. We're here in the middle of the day. So we just finished the dolphin show. It was, I, I was pretty impressed too, actually. Yeah. I thought, I thought, um, I thought they did a good job. Can't help but feel sad though for the dolphins. They're just stuck and they only have a small pool to swim around in. But it's kind of neat because the music started for the show and it seemed like uh, the dolphins knew to warm up. Just like good athletes. <laughs> it was awesome. It was a 
great show. It was good. It was awesome. It was a really, really good show. Yeah. It was almost touchy. Yeah, I would say like my, my, my. How was the dolphin show? Pretty amazing. <laughs> it's amazing how much they like, they know. I'm crying. I'm a little bit. Oh, Auntie Laura, he cried at the dolphin show. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah. It was an emotional yeah. dolphin show. It's all about hormones. <laughs> hormones. Yeah. Wow. Hormones. It's an emotional dolphin show. Where are we? Oh, we are now watching the, um, the sea lion, the sea lion show. Twice a day as well. And 10.30 and 1 o'clock show. So we missed the 10.30 one because we weren't here on time. But we are here at the 1 o'clock show. And we are in the front, so... We might get splashed. Yeah, we might get splashed. Yeah. Like all good athletes, we're watching the sea lions warm up. For the sea lion show, we sat in the front, which has limited visibility to really what goes on at the sea lion show. There's a lot of things that happen above the water line. So if you go, you want to make sure you sit at the top if possible. By this time, everybody was starving, so we decided to go to the Beach Boy Lanai for lunch. Keep watching to the end to see what we all thought about this overall experience and if we would recommend you coming to Sea Life Park. Sea Park has been better than I expected it to be. We saw the lion, sea lion show, we saw the dolphin show, and we saw the sharks, and the honus, and the kids got to do the birds. So we really did a lot of things. I think after we eat lunch here, then we are gonna go and see what else there is to do. What is there to do? But right now we are eating lunch and we are going to see how it tastes. You can't bring outside, you're not supposed to bring outside food, but they don't check your bags. Technically you could hide snacks in your bags if you really wanted to but you're not supposed to bring outside foods everybody has to eat at the food court that is here and basically it's hamburgers hot dogs and um, other things so we'll we'll let you know what everybody in the family orders and you can see for yourself Chicken. So what I ordered is I ordered oh. chicken tenders. Ooh. Ooh, it smells so good. <laughs> and the salad because I'm trying to be healthy. So, so the salad of... comes with yeah, and it, 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 it comes with oh. <laughs> it comes with mandarin orange, cucumber, tomato, and spinach, and nice ranch dressing. The tenders don't come with any sauce. Though. Barbecue. Yeah. It's tender though. It's good. I mean, there's not much surprise with chicken tenders. It just, you know, you kind of know what it tastes like. They are tender. I got a cheeseburger. I'm wrapping this one now. Yes. Oh, that looks like a good cheeseburger. 
Grilled cheese, tomato, and I don't know. They wait on something, and then some stuff. All right. Got a chili bowl. That's good. Already ate some of it. Oh, chicken teriyaki. Uh, I got a cheeseburger. Thanks for sharing with us. We got little pork sliders. Mommy, that looks good. Wait, you got koi bread? It's a caramel bread. But lunch was good. Uh, the chicken tenders were tender. Salad was great. It felt fresh. Um, and I think everybody had a pretty good experience at lunch. So good food here. After lunch, we headed to the playground. The kids and adults had a great time. It's a smaller park, but I think that you see a, you get to see all the animals. They're, they do a good job of like, training the animals, so they have some good shows. So I would come out. Uh, overall reaction, it's good. This has uh, been a nice surprise. Haven't been here in years, but we had a lot of fun today. It's not a very big park, so you can do this park definitely in a day or in the hours at least that they're open. And there's a lot to do for the kids, for the family, and it was fun. We had a good time. Oh, I think it was a great, it was a great day. Uh, just a few hours we were here, but I guess my favorite was the dolphin show. I enjoy eating lunch here, it's pretty good. It was a good experience, I'm glad you came. The dolphin show was really exceptional. It was really good, it made it worth it. Well, I really, I, I agree. I, I like the dolphin show, I think that was the highlight and I would love to come back and swim with the dolphins. Um, it was nice to come back after yeah. many years. But I think it's funny that they've got all and bring the kids. Like, really yeah. Like Good to see their reaction. I feel like this is like my first time, but I think I came here when I was super young, but I don't remember. You can actually do the park right well, like now as it is in probably half day, like three hours. Because <laughs> we came here at 10.30 and we were done by 1.30. I think it's done pretty well. It's a local thing and there's not a lot of money that goes into this but for what it is, it's, it's good for the kids. Would you recommend it to uh, Depends on the age of your kids, I think. Depends on what you're looking for. But um, yeah, I, I would. It's good. You learn a lot. It depends on if you want to learn a lot. So fast forward to a couple days later as I'm editing and I'm putting this video together and I just wanted to address what I said at the beginning of the video regarding the mixed reviews that I read online and overall personally for me I would say that I I enjoyed the experience going to Sea Life Park. Obviously this isn't a SeaWorld experience so if you're going if you're going to compare it to that then you will be disappointed but I think for what Sea Life Park is and the size that Sea Life Park is, it's a great place to, to learn and to see the animals that are there and to experience the shows as well. So I hope that helps and I hope you enjoy this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you wanna see more videos like this, please make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.